hey guys welcome back and i hope you are subscribed so to make my cream today i'll first be needing my distilled water here i have 160 grams of distilled water and then i have my vegetable glycerin 10 grams of vegetable glycerin so the vegetable glycerin and my distilled water are my water phase this are my water so for my oil phase i'm having emulsifying wax pure emulsifying wax 30 grams this will help to emulsify oils and water and then i have cetyl alcohol 9 grams this will also help to thicken the formulation i have jojoba oil 30 grams and then i have orange oil 15 grams and then i have 6 grams of mango butter so this is my water phase my distilled water and my vegetable glycerin while the rest of the ingredients are the oil phase meanwhile my last phase which are my actives and the rest of them are not measured yet so i'll bring them into the video later i have oil soluble actives and water soluble active so i'm going to remove some water from my formulation to mix my water soluble ingredients later i would not add extra water but because this will interrupt our batch quantity okay so this is a little water extracted from our formulation water to mix oil phase so then i'll add my vegetable glycerin into my distilled water and then i'll set this aside next i'm going to put all my oil soluble ingredients together I'm adding the cetyl alcohol now and next is my mango butter after this i'm just gonna um, transfer the two oils my orange oil and the ojoba oil but remember that we have to remain a little to mix our oil soluble ingredient so i'm not gonna pour oil i'm just gonna set a little aside to mix our oil soluble ingredients so here is my water phase and then my own oil phase so i'm just going to cover this up and heat them on low heat until the oil phase is totally melted please check the description box for list of ingredients also remember to keep shaking the oil soluble ingredients to hasten its melting So as you can see here, our oil soluble phase is already melted. So I'll just bring them right out from the heat. I'll quickly uncover them and then I'll get my blender ready. Just before your oil phase starts cooling down, I'm going to transfer, I'm going to transfer this into my water phase. And then I'm going to quickly blend with an immersion blender or a stick blender rather to homogeneously mix them together. Remember that this is still very hot so it will not thicken immediately. It's going to thicken as it cools down. So right now it's still very watery because it's still very hot. Meanwhile, while we wait for it to cool down, I'm just going to set this aside and dissolve my actives. So for my actives, because I'm making a whitening cream, I'm going to be having liquorice powder, 5 grams of liquorice powder. And then I'm going to be also needing fire, um, kojic acid depalmitate. So here is 5 grams of kojic acid depalmitate. And then I also have my snow white powder, 10 grams. And I also have 10 grams of my lactic acid. So these are my actives for my whitening cream. Remember that your lactic acid will help with a mild exfoliation, thereby helping you, uh, helping the remaining actives to work perfectly on your skin. Okay, so here we have two water soluble and two oil soluble ingredients. So this is water soluble, the lactic acid, and then the kojic acid, the palmitate is oil soluble, liquorice is water soluble, and snow white is also water soluble. 
uh, lactic acid is water soluble but it's already in the liquid form so just set it aside and then we'll bring in our water and our oil to dissolve our actives so this is liquorice and this is snow white snow white is water soluble and liquorice are also water soluble so i'm just going to mix it with little water So for the kojic acid depalmitate, I'm just going to transfer my oil into it and mix well. It's going to totally dissolve in the oil and it, if it has some few particles, you can heat at a temperature of 90 to 100 degrees Celsius to totally melt it. If you buy a fake to kojic acid depalmitate, you're really going to find it hard to dissolve. So be careful to buy fake. Then another hint in using kojic acid permitted here is after heating at 90 to 96 degrees Celsius, please make sure it cools back before you formulate with it. If you pour it in like that, you may end up having particles that are not smooth. So be careful when using kojic acid permitted. So let's check to see if our cream base has cooled down and thickened. See, our cream base is now very thick. Okay, so I'm just going to add my remaining ingredient. But make sure it's cooled down already and it's no longer hot before you add your ingredients, okay? Our cream base is really thick and not running. Remember, it is a cream and not a lotion. Although, we've not added all the liquids in it, so it's still going to get lighter than this. Okay? So, let's add our active ingredients now. See, our Snow White powder, um, powder is fully dissolved in water. So, I'll just add it into my cream base. Our liquor rice is also totally dissolved in water. So I'll just pour this in as well. And then our lactic acid will also go in. And then our kojic acid the palmitate will also go in. I'll be adding propylene glycol as an extra into this. This is 8 grams of propylene glycol. And this will help to enhance the penetration of the cream into the skin to affect the purpose of the cream. And then I'm adding just 1 gram of Gemma Plus preservative. This will help to improve the shelf life of this product since it's a water-based product. And then my fragrance, I'll be adding about 10 drops of vanilla fragrance. Vanilla is just simple for this kind of cream. And then I'll be adding my vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil is an antioxidant and it's really necessary for preparations like this. If you are measuring, your vitamin E oil should be about 1 to 1.5 grams. And then I'll be adding my essential oil here. I'll be using tea tree essential oil, about 10 drops of tea tree essential oil into my formulation. And then I'll be giving this if I, a, a very thorough mix. You can go ahead and mix with your blender as well. So also check the consistency. If the consistency is not fine by you, you can add some more grams of water until you attain your checked consistency. And also go ahead to check your pH. pH for this product should be around 4.5 to 8 so that the active ingredient can be very, very effective. And also if you do not want a white cream, you can as well add some 
mica color to it um pink yellow green whatever your preference is to change the color of the cream but i want to leave mine as white and i'll just take my container make sure it's sterilized and i'm just going to transfer my product into my container with this cream you will achieve a good brightening a caramel skin and a chocolate skin not necessarily for a dark skin please and it can also be used by on skin types it has a great moisturizing property and it also helps to give a slight exfoliation because of the lactic acid that is in it it will also help to brighten the skin fit blemishes and hyperpigmentation please if this video is helpful to you do well to give it a thumb up drop any questions you have for us under the comment section join us on instagram for our uh, daily tips and diys and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel i love you so very much thank you for watching this video and i hope to see you in my next video for now take care and bye